gotago.org. Welcome back to Kids in the Kitchen. Today we've been focusing on comfort foods. With our guest chef Paige today, we've already made meatloaf, apple crisp, we've sauteed some string beans, and now we're getting ready to mash some potatoes and start plating our food, okay? So, Paige is an expert mashed potato maker, so we're going to kind of let her take lead on this today. So what are we doing, Paige? Okay, well first, what you want to do is you want to slowly add in all your ingredients instead of just pouring them all in. So you're going to take your milk, okay. slowly add a little bit, that should be good. Good. And then maybe you want to take a couple of sticks of butter. Mm-hmm. Maybe about, that's good. Okay. Now, today we are using what kind of potatoes, Micah? Russet potatoes. Okay, great. Now, I know with um, baking mashed potatoes, there's several choices that you have. Yep. You can use russet, which are these. Mm -hmm. um, another kind that you can use, which is really popular, is the Yukon Gold potatoes. Right. They have a wonderful texture, exactly. and they take on flavor very, very well. So we, you know, if you're using Yukon Gold, it'll take on the flavor of scallions or whatever you're mixing with your mashed potatoes. Also, you can use, like Mike just did today, which was a russet, which is a traditional baking potato. Red potatoes are also great, and you can mash those with the skin on, which makes it very, very simple. There we go. Now, the nice thing about Yukon Gold, like Sheila was saying, is that they hold their shape. Uh, one of the reasons why I, wanted, I chose the russet is because it's a potato you tend to have at home because people buy big bags of them. So, the other seasonings we have on the table, we have some Parmesan cheese. We have dry parsley, you could use fresh parsley. Um, what are some other ways that we could change up the taste of our mashed potatoes? Um, we can use chives, we can use sour cream. Okay. And maybe a little bit of onion. Yeah, maybe a little bit of onion. Just to give some flavor. Some garlic maybe? Yeah, garlic. Okay. So you can also use a hand mixer to make your potatoes. If you want a really good whipped appeal, what we were looking for today is trying to develop a potato that has some texture to it. Micah, while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna take out our lovely meatloaf. That's looking good. That's looking good. And our apple crisp. Okay. And some of our other stuff and get it plated. Okay, that sounds good. So we're, you can see that we're coming along with the potatoes. Is there anything more you want, some more milk? Okay. And then maybe a little more salt and pepper. A little more salt and pepper? Okay. Here we go. Did you put any cheese in yet? Um, I'm going to stir this up milk first so that I can get it all in. Okay, we said that Paige was going to run with the mashed potatoes today, so she already knows how to make them. You can get these recipes and other recipes on our previous shows at kidskitchentv.net. And, um... We will have these and other things up there. Now, if you can see, Sheila is busy in the back of the kitchen. And she is quickly plating our meatloaf, and they look awesome. Yeah, we've got lots of melty cheese and perfect sauce. It's going to be perfect with our mashed potatoes and with our little beans. And, and what we have right here, Sheila already took out of the oven. We, um, Put some of the apple crisp in these little nice pretty dishes. You can serve the apple crisp either on a plate and a dish. Something to go with it is a nice, uh, if you have a little caramel sauce, if you want to get fancy, or always some whipped cream or some ice cream sounds really good. That looks, this looks pretty good. Are you finished or you think you want to match some more? Do you need anything else? I think this looks a little good. Okay, great. So we'll put this in a bowl. And we're about to do my favorite part of the show, <laughs> which is tasting what we've made. I'm bringing our forks and spoons over as we speak. Now, we always ask our guest hosts after they leave if they think they could duplicate the food that we've cooked on the show at home. So Paige, now you're on the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can make any of this food at home? Yes. Okay. Mashed potatoes were very simple. I'm using them. And the apple was the apple very, apple crisp. Yeah, the apple crisp. <laughs> that was very a little easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. And okay. the meatloaf was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Excellent. Well, you can stop mashing. Yeah, that looks good. Paige has done an awesome job for us today. Um, she's a chef. She knows all about cooking. Join the break.
break, she was going over how to make gnocchi. So mm. we are very, I'm mm -hmm. very impressed with Paige. So Sheila, you want to start kind of dishing stuff sure. up so people can start eating? Sure. Let's give everybody a little taste of everything that we've prepared today. So these are just some of the comfort foods that you have an opportunity to cook. Um, really anything that you really like that makes you feel good, especially in the winter time, can turn into a comfort food. So that pasta is a favorite comfort food, or like a chili, anything like that. You want it to be something simple, something good. Uh, what we were looking for today were simple foods that everyone in the family enjoys and anyone can make. And the great, the greatest thing about what Mike had just said is that we have all these ingredients, things that you have in your cupboard already at home. Well, thank you very much for coming to another episode of Kids in the Kitchen. We've enjoyed you. We hope you've enjoyed us. And check out our website, kidskitchentv.net. Listen up, energy hogs. We got a real porker of a house.